You really, really, really don't like learning, do you? Well, looks like Team Mossbot is at it again. He doesn't like learning, but he thinks he is at the right person to teach others. No point in me really going into more details than that. Let's just pop some of the holes he has, shall we? What's up, guys? So, another motivational video that I want to share for you guys. I want to do, like, a lot of motivational videos for you guys to just You need to have the first one to be good with no hypocritical points to think another one is going to work out as well. Just motivate you with anything really. So, I mean, pretty much what I, what I want you guys to do before I get into this motivational video, comment something that you know that you dreamed about, that you have visions for, like something that you want to do in your life. Comment whatever it is below, whether you want to be a fireman, whether you want to be in the military, whether you want to be a YouTuber, whether you want to be an actor, comment that stuff below. I will try to do as much research as I can to turn that into a motivational video for you. I well, if you're going to be that generous, then I want to be a Pokemon like Charizard or Digimon like Kiamon. Oh, wait. You mean something more realistic? Well, that's no fun. I would much rather watch someone else who would give me what I want. Anything, any dreams, anything that you got going on for yourself, I want to turn that into a motivational video for you. And if you want to go more realistic, how about a motivational video of suicide prevention? Yeah, but you didn't think I was going to bring something like that up. Because anyone else can do that job for you, but, oh, I don't know, showing actual support and having multiple links and numbers on the side for prevention hotlines to help. Hmm, especially for this month, of course. But this video, I want it to be for people out there where it's like, you are doing videos, but then you have people that's like trying to tell you what to do when you are doing videos. Yeah, it's called Twitter, Facebook, and the comments section. You'd be surprised how much you would actually get help if you actually looked at them. And it's like, this ain't really trying to tie to me, but that's like, I've seen it. Like, I've heard about it with other people and stuff and YouTubers, where it's like, they will do videos, but then you'll get that one person that's mad at the way that they're doing those videos. Yeah, it's called haters, trolls, and annoying spineless bugs. It's called ignoring them as a solution. There, I solved your problem right there. And so it's like, yeah, I'm, I might, you know, like, use myself as an example. I might talk about my situation, but for the most part... Most? MOST! You make everything about you. Through your experience, your time and everything. It is all about you. You don't give up any other better examples. You start doing these videos, you start building up a following, but you also start building up a secret following. And a secret following is haters. Well, yeah. Pretty much no brain of there. You can't assume that your content is going to please every demographic that's going to watch it. Because at that point, it would be too easy that you might as well just dangle a bunch of keys in front of the... Ah. Okay? Now, haters are everywhere. Haters are absolutely there everywhere. You can't, you can't start something, you can't start a business, you can't start anything for yourself without having haters. As true as that is, Moss, you can prove them slightly wrong by, oh, I don't know, enhancing your experience and upgrading not just your content, but also yourself to show that you can do better. But I think that's a little too much for you. Just, just sit back down, you'll be fine. I'm pretty sure the man that created McDonald's, he had haters. I think they even made a movie about that. I still have to, um, I have yet to, like, watch that movie. Yeah, they are called Burger King, Wendy's, Arby's, and Subway Lovers. And that's fine for them. And yes, they did make a movie. It's called The Founder. A recreational video about Ray Kroc, who started the McD chain. And diabetes in America. But for, um, people that made video games, they have haters. And they once again try to improve, whether through graphics, character designs, story visuals. Till you get the feminists involved, and well, that's a different story altogether. Okay, 
Uh, what else? Um, movies. You know, they have um, critics. <laughs> That's their prime example. When it's like when you make a movie and then you got that critic and they're just saying like, oh, this is poor taste. This is a bad movie and blah, blah, blah and stuff. For one thing, that's their job. So they can let people know by their own opinion if the movie's even worth it or not. Nostalgia Critic is one of the highest examples of this making reviews of movies from bad to decent. And in some of his reviews through either explanations or skits, he does have examples of the creator saying that what they create that comes out with their name on it, they do not approve. But yet they go with it due to the producers and Hollywood being crap. But he never says, don't watch it just because I say so. It's like, all right, I have fun making this movie. Everybody else have fun making this movie. So really, it shouldn't even matter. And we plan on making a sequel. That's how you know when a movie, if a movie does bad, and or it wasn't even, I wouldn't even say it does bad. Like, it did good in the box office. Everybody loved it and stuff. Like, for an example, the Batman um, and Superman. Batman versus Superman. That should be a prime example. Wow. Great example to use. And he did a review for that one as well. Look in the description, ladies and gents. But still, not a good enough argument. A better example would have to be The Labyrinth, in my opinion. Because every critic actually did a review of this one. And they will say crap from the CGI to some of the puppet work, the dialogue, the story. And on some of the points, I do agree with. But then they can all come to a compromise, common ground, come together and say how magical it is, how strange it was meant to be. But of course, the best of all is to talk about David Bowie and all his Bowiness. Not just his package. Talking with my friends just today, it was just like a friend of mine was telling me like her, you know, like bringing down situation, and I'm like, nah, you gotta check that person. You know, you need to let them know, like, this is, no, this is what I'm doing, okay? If you have a problem with that, the door is right there. Like Funny, because in your case, if someone tries to give you even a pinch of criticism, then you might as well just block them. That's a slam door to the face, if I ever heard one. Like, you don't have to be involved in my life in any way, shape, or form. But it's like, if you, like, if you can accept me for who I am, that's, that's cool. All right, thumbs up on that one. But if you can't accept me for who I am, then it's like, why should I accept anything that you're saying to me? Let's make this list, shall we? First off, you don't seem to accept others yourself from saying kids should not start YouTube channels and other commenters are fans to help you improve. So there's that issue. Two, as for the knots, I just assume it's because you don't want to change. You want to be stuck on one setting on your videos. You're as bad as Adam Sandler movies. If it's like, if you can clearly see that I'm not listening to it, it's not helping me. Like you don't want to listen to others asking for your help when you open for its support. Again, people, hotlines down below. Okay, I've done the things that you said and it's, I'm still in the same spot that I'm in and it's just like, okay, what was that, what did that really do? Help you become more than what you already are. My God, do we have to continue on repeat? What, what, what was that going? What was that supposed to do? You know, so it's like that's the type of stuff where it's like you can't do what you want to do in life. Whatever you want to do. My friend, same friend that I was just talking about. <clears throat> she wants to open up a salon. You know, chances are she's going to probably have haters along the way. Well, yeah, because unless she can prove herself that her style of salon and work is on par or better than the competitors, that fits the pricings that she's asking for, she won't be getting much of a notice. But I told her, I was just like, when the time comes and YouTube is taking off for me and I'm making all of this money from YouTube, I'm helping you opening up your salon. For your friends, not for kids or others wanting to make a channel or a better career. I've told so many of my friends, I've said like any anything that they got going on for themselves, best believe I want to be um, part of it. I want to help you live that dream out because it's like you see that I'm living my dream. Now it's your turn. All right. You're the one that's next up. And I have to say that that's that's really the key 
of living a dream is like when you then live your dream and you're living it, it's time to help other people. It's like you kind of just like when you are living the dream, you look at the people around you and you see that they're looking at you living your dream. And then that's when you got to like just pull them up with you. I could laugh at this if this wasn't too far from the truth and pretty fucking pathetic people. Because... Moss Boss, you show examples on how you would not be the best example. I get better examples from Spockter, Junkie, Jar, Nostalgia Critic, Majira. Because they understand it will not ignore people who see them as idols to look up to and want to be on the same level as them. Hell, none of them are the ex none of them give up the examples that they are better than everybody else they make joke about it time to time, but they don't think that. They much rather be on par or the same level as a common man or furry. They don't flaunt or label themselves. You do. Like you gotta let them live the dream too and stuff. Like yeah if they you know if I guess if they um if they they try to mess up your dream and things like you pulling them with you and they trying to mess it up, you can't kick them out. You can't get that's that's the whole point of dreaming. All right. You're in control of that dream. All right. You have you have absolute control of what you want to do. Then in my control, I'm going to keep popping some flaw bubbles. till it's getting through your thick head that you need better arguments and better motivation. And I feel like it's like a mental conscious thing. Like you can't really like let people get into your conscious. You can't let people like try to ruin what you got going on. Cause it's like, really, if you do that, you, yeah, most likely you're going to stop. Yeah. You, you are going to stop following your dream. Again, that's a given, but at the same time, they are all human. It's natural reaction to this sort of thing. Now, I will agree on this, ladies and gents. You should not let negativity get to you. But, it feels, but if it feels like it is, this is my advice and take it however you wish. Turn off your computer. Lay down and think. Or rest. Watch TV. Play video games. Just something to give your body and mind a rest from it all so you feel ready to get back up and continue. Because negativity is nothing more but a small pill that will help you get better when you know how to get around it. Never let it consume you. To them mentally, and it, no, prime, prime, prime example. And I feel like that, you know, yeah, it's like I really shouldn't be talking about it, but they put that in the movie. They put that in the movie and stuff. And I feel like that that might have been the downfall of a uh, singer's career. The Bobby Brown story. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody probably most likely watched that. Nope, I'm not into the whole hip-hop, rap, whatever the guy did as career. So, I'm not into it. Nor want to be in the loop of his life. Because they were like, yeah, it was about Bobby Brown. But, um, yeah, there is a scene in there where Whitney Houston was reading, um, like, tabloids, like, magazines and stuff about her, and then they were saying, like, all these, like, crazy and bad things about her, and you can see that it got into, it got to her. Possibly that the negativity at the time can also be due to around that, around that time starting out, people probably didn't believe that a woman singer could do better than a man could. And according to her interview with Oprah, she believed that Bobby Brown was jealous of her career and of her talent. And that it was also the reason that Bobby wants to be the head star and not have anyone on the same God level as he thinks he is. Reminds me of someone else who thinks that way. Doing on here and things, whether it was my music, whether it was my reaction videos, whether it was my gaming videos. I had my gaming channel, prime example, when I was doing gaming videos on there, people was uh, getting on me about a mic. And I'm like, I don't have the money right now to buy me a new mic. And then they're getting mad at me. And it's like stuff like that. Where's oh no, someone giving you criticism and trying to tell you something is off. Haters, possibly, but in that mix, there are possibly others trying to tell you. You need a new mic with better sound calculation and voice volume. 
Oh no. It's just like, no, I'm not gonna allow somebody to like get mad at me because of something I can't control. So I'm like, no, then don't watch my videos. I'm not gonna sit here and like, change. if this is what I gotta use right now, this is what I gotta use. So it's like, and even then people are all like, they still like trip about it. But the thing is, should like, all right, so they will watch the video, then have one of your friends watch the video. Okay, one of your and I feel like that your close your closest friends they will be the ones they will be the ones that tell you if something is not right with what you're doing. Oh yeah, because only your friends are the right people to give you advice on how to improve and give you what you need for your content. No other tuber who knows what they are doing or talking about with better research and advice on equipment and topics. Those. I feel like that your closest, closest friends, those would be the ones that's trying to help you. Like, if you can see it, like, serious, if you can see it in their face, all right, that they're all like, okay, you know, I'd see, like, you know, I watched your video, the microphone, it was like, it was messing up at some parts, you know, and it's just like, and they, they will really, I feel like that if a friend sees that you're trying to live out your dream, they will recommend, like, okay, that, um, there's this uh, microphone at Best Buy, called the blue snowball mixed reviews on it but at the same time if you do this little thing of saving your money and take some extra advice other than just what your one friend is suggesting you'll find there are many other options and better quality of sound and background cancellations of microphones than a snowball so it's like it's stuff like that that's where we would try to help you but comments like your microphone is crap that's them like that's you're not guiding me you're not helping me like then that is where you either ignore it or go into the comments and reply with hey i know and i do plan on getting better one day no any good suggestions oh wait that's right i keep forgetting this is you you much rather take a friend's critique rather than a viewer's and it's just, once again, put myself, I, like, <laughs> I'm not trying to make this video about me, I swear. Too late. But it's like when people was getting on me about editing, no editing software, no nothing, like, you just say, edit your videos. Okay, with what? Oh my god, you apparently think everything needs to be handed to you, and that you don't need to do a single damn thing or research. I... At the very least, when I started doing my videos, I started researching. I did research from software, microphones, etc. Because I want to improve myself. Even to this day, I am trying to improve myself by looking up better types of mic qualities, better types of software, filters, systems. Because I want to do better. I want to expand my horizon. I am not sticking to one thing. Like this, that's just the type of stuff where it's just like, all right, if you're not guiding me, if you're not trying to help me live out my dream, then there ain't even no reason for me to listen to you and stuff. That advice. Here, let me correct that advice. People, if you're getting comments such as your microphone is bad or you need to edit your video, simply ask them for suggestions or help. Or do research on mics and editing softwares. You'll be surprised what you can find and it helps motivate you to go that extra step for better content. Don't just ignore it. Just see who can help you. You'd be surprised that the people that are hating you are trying to get your attention to help you get better. And I have, I want everybody to follow that. If nobody is not trying to help you live out your dream, they're not trying to guide you to your dream. And yeah, you should be the one that should be guiding yourself to the dream. And that's where it's just like, okay, that's where it's like you listen to yourself. You don't listen to nobody else. And Especially if those people do actually try to give you advice and you do nothing but tell them to mind their own business and block them. Right, Moss Boss? Motivate yourself. Be there for yourself, okay? If you gotta like find like things to just motivate you, find them, okay? Don't just, don't have it like, don't wait for it to come to you like. I think people are doing that plenty with your talking videos. Anyways, yeah. Um, I, I have to say that, um, cause there's a book 
that uh, I want to recommend to you guys um, that you guys that you guys should read because I feel like that it really it kind of like helped me a little bit mentally. It's stuff that I already kind of knew, but it's stuff where it's just like, OK, I'm not the only one that's thinking this. So it's uh, called The Master Key System by Charles like F. Hanol or something like that. Um, Charles Hanol is like Charles and then H-A-A-N-E-L. I think that's how you spell his last name. Oh, yes. A book about nothing but become healthy and filthy rich. If that's the easy way we have more and more rich people nowadays, thanks to this book and this book alone, not by hard work and ignoring ridiculous advice and examples like yours. God, thankfully at this point, he stopped. For my ears couldn't take any more of his crap in evidence. Well, fake evidence. Bad evidence. Bad advice. Ah! I hope my motivation was a whole lot better. Because I want YouTubers, old and new, to find their passion, whether new passion or old passion, to find it again and give off their creativity and strong willpower for videos. Coming from this silly and handsome fox, make videos only when you are ready to, and when you are ready to put in the work you find suitable. If it works out, then see how far you can go with it. If not, work around it. Enhance your creativity or branch out to new possibilities. Just don't give up. Let your YouTube wings soar you. Stay fluffy, my friend. Hello, ladies and gents. A final message before I end this video completely is... how I don't know how many have heard, but... Tyler, t Moss's boss, has did ignore a suicide girl that was asking for his help when he called it out for open. But he turned her down, telling her to pretty much shut up and not talk to him. Thankfully, due to our friend, Media, he had got a hold of the girl, contacted her, and she is fine. This just shows how much Team Moss Boss is nothing but a hypocritical ass. And how we can do better than him. I want you to please find it in your heart. If you or you know someone who is in need of help in suicide prevention, take a look at these links below. Take a look at these Prevention hotline, give them a call, a text, email, something. Because suicide is not a joke. It is serious, it is hurtful, and it will hurt more than just one person. My name is Sal Ferosa. Stay fluffy, stay safe.